Hey guys, welcome back. It's Taryn. It's been a little while. Um, and I have some exciting news to share with you that might explain why it's been a little while. I think it's only been a few weeks since my last video, but um, it will explain why and some changes for the future. So stick All right. Out. So it is, we are what, at the end of July right now. You can see my background is a little bit different than it has been in um, previous videos. So we are now, um, it's, been a, it's been a little while, it's been about a month now, we are now a family of nine, that hasn't changed, but we're a family of nine living in an RV full time. Uh, yeah, that's the news. <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, it is something that I have actually wanted to happen for probably like a year and a half to two years. And my husband thought I was crazy. My kids thought I was like completely losing my mind, but I really, really wanted to. Um, I just wanted that lifestyle, that freedom. It. Um, we live in New England, if you don't know, and as a family of nine, um, I don't find New England very... Um, large family friendly. It's really, really hard um, financially here. Everything is so much more expensive and um, large families aren't typical. They're, we're not the norm. Most people have two, you know, what is it, what is it 2.2 kids or something. Um, so we are definitely abnormal around here and we are a one income family um, and we rent houses we've rented. Um, we've never bought a house. I guess that makes us abnormal too, but um, it has just become so hard to find a rental that will fit us and, um, you know, landlords that will accept a family of our size, even if it's a four or five bedroom house, that's become impossible around here. So that's kind of the backstory of why I wanted to, um, to live in an RV full time. And then it's, um, you know, you can always see God working in your life. Um, sometimes you can see him working, you know, right then and there. But a lot of the times it takes hindsight to see how he has been working in your life. So if we back up a few months, um, my family and I moved in February. We moved February 23rd. And um, we, we unexpectedly moved. Um, and we really didn't have a place to go. We had been searching for houses, like I said, rentals, um, but to get anybody to accept us was just impossible. They don't, once I say we have seven kids, it was no, 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 no. <laughs> this place is way too small. That's way too many people, you know, this and that and this and that. Um, so anyway, so we, we searched high and low. We searched out of state. We searched in state. I mean, every single town and city in this state. And then a the, the couple states over, we've searched. Um, I started looking out of even those states, out of New England, to see if we could, you know, find some place elsewhere. We were being pretty flexible. So anyway, um, we couldn't. So after, you know, once we knew we were moving anyway at the end of February, we moved into a hotel. And um, to make a long story short, we ended up staying at that hotel for three months. A family of nine, um, yeah, in a hotel room for three months. Now, thank God, my children really are wonderful. Um, they really are. They're wonderful. And we, ha we stayed at a wonderful, wonderful hotel. Um, they made us really, really feel at home, and it wasn't um, it wasn't a bad thing at all. We were so blessed to be at this hotel. The um, the staff there really treated us like family. We had birthdays there. We had some holidays there. So um, it wasn't you know it was. I mean, I guess nobody really wants to stay in a hotel for that extended of a time, but it really was a blessing. So I cannot complain about that at all. Um, anyway, so, sorry, this is a little rambly, but, um, so anyway, I wanted to stay, sorry, my kids are obviously in the background here all the time, um, so I obviously wanted to stay in an RV full time, but like I said, my husband wasn't exactly a huge fan, so after kind of pestering him and him really not coming around to it at all, I just stopped. 
I stopped talking about it, I stopped asking about it, I stopped hinting, I stopped researching, I stopped all that stuff. Um, and yeah, so I just kind of shut my mouth and I stopped and I started praying about it. Something I really should have done from the get-go, right? Um, so I just stopped and not too long after I stopped even talking about it, um, well, so I was praying, um, I, I wasn't praying to change his mind, I'll back up a little bit, I wasn't praying for God to change his mind at all, I was praying for God to change my heart and to take that longing out of my heart to make me content just in whatever, right? Like Paul. Um, so I want to be content in any circumstance, no matter what. So if God doesn't want me to move out of, you know, where we are, then that's fine. So that's what I was praying. I wasn't praying for my husband to have a change of heart. I was praying for me to have a change of heart. So once I started doing that, um, it was kind of funny because, um, maybe two ish or so weeks later, um, so we actually, we had a lot of houses that we thought we had and that, um, we had to, they canceled for one way or another. Or we had to cancel it for one way or another. So anyway, I don't remember exactly when it was, but I know it was a Tuesday night. Um, the house that we thought we were moving into for the last week and a half or so, um, they ended up, um, canceling on us last minute. It was a Tuesday night and we were going to move in to the house that weekend. So Tuesday night, we found out we didn't get this house after we had been planning on it and telling the kids and looking at decorations and everything. Um, Wednesday, I was back online looking for more houses and, um, literally, um, an RV and a camper kind of fell into our lap. Um, and there's no other explanation besides God gave us a camper and an RV. So my husband went that day and he got the camper and the RV. I mean, we bought it and he ended up working for some of it also, but it was just such a crazy, um, price and so completely out of the blue that there's no other explanation. So we now have a camper and an RV. Um, the following week, we actually had a local campsite um, contact my husband and wanted him to come work for them, actually, to get rid of some of their abandoned campers. So, another long story short, we actually ended up inheriting two more campers at this local campground. Um, one we, we didn't keep, but one we kept and we actually ended up moving into. So, we now have two campers and an RV. And we are living in one pretty much stationary. Um, we've decided to stay stationary through the summer at the very least, just so we can stay local. My husband is still working here. Um, this campground is only open until October 15th. So I don't know if we're going to stay that long or not. But right now, um, it's only been about a month. The kids are loving it. We have so much space, the community is great, there's so many things for the kids. Um, we're really, really loving it. There's some issues with the camper that we moved into. Um, I mean, I, well, I don't wanna say minor issues, some are minor issues. Um, we do have a little bit of a mold issue, so if you have any tips on that one, getting rid of mold in a camper, I would really, really appreciate that one because that is probably my number one complaint. Um, the next thing is I don't have any Wi-Fi service, so that's been a huge issue for me, especially working online and some of the kids' schooling is online too, so that's been a really big issue. But we should be able to solve that soon. So other than that, other than those issues, um, we're really loving this lifestyle, actually. There's really nothing else to, to complain about. We're really blessed with this camper. We're blessed with the community. Um, Everybody's healthy, everybody's happy, and the, I don't know, there's so much more to do as a family. We're outside all day, every day, even at night, all night. I mean, it's just, it's a completely different lifestyle, um, and one that was literally just kind of thrown in at the last minute, I guess, but we're liking it. So, um, the plan is in the fall, probably sometime in October, maybe November. Um, we're going to probably go on the road. We're going to take the RV and the camper and we are going to go travel. We're going to be a full-time traveling family. So, um, God gives us what our heart desires, right? So I didn't expect it. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing. So, you know, anything can change. God can change my heart. God can change my husband's heart. Um, you know, I, I don't know, but that's the plan for now. So we are here. So all of my videos you will see, I'm going to be outside because filming in the camper is probably going to be impossible. So I'll be outside. You'll see background and you'll probably see my kids. You will see messy kids because they're kind of dirty all the time now. <laughs> um, I may or may not do some kind of like day in the life videos. It's not really my thing, um, but because we're in such a different um, situation right now, I don't know. I thought about it. Maybe giving you a tour of our camper and our site and um, that kind of thing. So if you do want that, uh, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up or just let me know in the comments or uh, give me some ideas of videos you might want to see. If you don't want to see that, I get that too. That's fine. <laughs> um, but I won't know if you want to or not unless you let me know. So that's it. That is our big news. Um, things have changed drastically for us. Not another baby. Hopefully you didn't think that when you saw the video. Um, but no, not another baby. Baby's eight months old and doing wonderfully and we're very happy with our seven. So um, that's it. Thanks for sticking around and hearing our news. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up or just let me know in the comments if you want to see some sort of tour or day in the life or anything like that. Otherwise, um, just stick around and subscribe if you're new so you can get all of my other videos, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.